Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landscape and how to texture landscape based on a splat maps or flow maps or weight maps like this. For example, this is a set of maps that I generated from an external software called Houdini, uh, but there are some, some other software that you can generate terrain maps like this. Based on these uh, texture maps, I'm going to use mega scan textures to the landscape it like this. For example, here you can see it on the top view and there's another view. And this is how it looks like in the close up and I can play my game right now you can see over here since we are using these maps we can get really nice details in the in the ground you can see there are nice uh, variations in the ground and it looks really nice so let's get started before we do that we need to generate some sort of maps like this and if you're using houdini i have a tutorial on that how to how to get them and also you can download these flat maps and the height map from the description below of this video and also there are some other programs that like world creator world machine and so on uh, which help you to generate maps like this and i'm using open land as a landscape material for this uh, tutorial but it's not 100 uh, percent required but i'm gonna use some of the tools come to the open land but anyway the core functionality is based on the ue5 all right uh, let's start with a fresh map file new level empty level right i don't have anything here now i need to have a simple light setup and in, in open land, we have uh, something called uh, sun sky. Uh, go to open land, blueprints. And here we have a blueprint called sun sky. It will add a simple sky setup. Okay. And then I'm going to save this project. All right. Let's say tutorial. Okay. Then I'm opening my landscape tools. Then I'm going to use a height map uh, to create this landscape. And if you want to use this height map, check the description below. Right. This R16 file. Okay, and as the material, I'm going to use the open land default material, mi underscore open land default theme. Right, everything looks good. I'm going to say import. Right, now you will see uh, like a black screen like this. That's totally fine. Then go to the paint section. Then I can see some sort of layers over here and select the auto forest and select the layer info. Okay, then you can see a landscape like this. So let's close our landscape tools. And then I can go to the top so I can see my landscape over here. Right. And this is a good start. Uh, yeah, this uh, height map has a lot of details. Okay, then let's try to start texturing. Here I have downloaded some mega scan textures into this project uh, so we can simply use them. And in Open Land, we have a special tool called Open Lands Mega Scan Texture Selector. So based on that, I can easily add some textures to my landscape. In order to enable this one, I'm going to select my landscape, go to the details panel and search for use dynamic and here we have something called use dynamic material instant okay i'm gonna select that and if you want to open this tool uh, go to your open land directory widgets and here we have a widget called open land texture manager widget, widget right click on that and click run editor utility widget then you will see this widget okay now i'm gonna change the ground texture so i'm gonna select my landscape open this tool in the material layer i'm gonna select ground and I'm gonna select a texture. I think I have something called Canyon Rocky Ground. All right. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna hit select. Right now you can see it appeared on my landscape. And if you go a little bit up closer, you can see there are some uh, texture repetition and here or here, you can see them. And you can uh, easily uh, get reduced by using the texture variation support comes with open land. And here I'm gonna uh, do some variation offset at some value like let's say five, okay. Right now, it reduces the repetition a little bit. And then I have another thing called texture variation rotation influence. I'm going to increase a little bit. Now, the texture repetition is almost gone. I can go closer. Right, as you can see, yeah, we don't see any sort of texture repetition and it's, it's, it's all good. And then uh, you can also change the tiling, uh, near tiling and far tiling. And let me play my game. And I think it's a little bit of, uh, yeah, big. I'm going to reduce the near tiling to two and the far tiling maybe uh, like eight something like right yeah i think uh, yeah this is the yeah this is good now uh, i'm gonna change the slopes texture and honestly this is just fine but i think uh, i'm gonna change it to a mega scan texture here again i'm select my material layer as the uh, slope and the mega scan texture i have this one yeah icelandic yeah this one i'm gonna select that Right, I think, uh, yeah, I think I need to work on the tiling a little bit. Uh, in, the, in the near, I'm going to say near 20, right? In the closer and the far, I think I'm going to put around something like 40, 
right again i think i need some sort of texture repetition over here as well okay let me try some uh, variation offset let's say 10 all right also rotation i'm gonna do a little bit of rotation influence not not that much uh, a very uh, a tiny bit right something like this i think i'm i'm, I'm gonna change the color of this texture as well for example i need to have i, I think i like to have some sort of a reddish uh, texture so i'm gonna reduce both the green and blue channel a little bit yeah i think i have a little bit of reddish uh yeah color on my yeah that's good that's good so let me go to the sky yeah uh yeah it it looks yeah it looks good okay now let's try to use another flow map or a splat maps to add some more variation into this texture here i'm going to use my sand layer i'm going to open my landscape tool again and if you want to show that uh, texture i'm going to use this uh, sediment layer for example i'm going to use that as some sort of like a sandy uh, way sandy sandy influence to my my landscape so i'm going to use this map to to do that right i'm going to select my landscape tools again and here we have a go to the paint section here we have a layer called uh, sand i'm going to select the uh, layer info sand layer info like this and then i'm going to hit the manage tab and there's another uh, section called import select that right then here we have uh, layers uh, yeah drop down okay now you can see i can uh, check my sand layer you can see you cannot uh, check other layers uh, because we need to set a layer info first that's why all the other layers are hidden uh, except the auto forest right i'm gonna select this checkbox then i can import a map uh, so here as i mentioned earlier i'm gonna use the, this sediment uh, texture right and then uh, i'm gonna hit import and this will take some time right now uh, everything is done i'm gonna go to the select mode again so now you can see still you can see some uh, weird uh, yeah shape like this that's totally fine all you have to do is just restart your map i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna restart my map let's compile in some shaders and let's wait until that okay now you can see there are some sand yeah texture blended into my scene like this right then i can go to the top view and you can clearly see details uh that's yeah apply to my landscape and it's it's really nice but i think i need to change the texture a little bit so i have downloaded some uh, texture from the mega scan uh, i'm going to use that so i'm going to select my sand layer over here and the mega scan texture is baseball dirt field yeah this one like a orange reddish uh, texture i'm going to select that i think it suits uh to my uh, landscape uh something like this i think i'm going to reduce a little bit of red from this uh texture something like this okay all right i can go closer yeah all right uh yeah this is exactly um, what i'm looking for very nice okay now let's do another modification like this and here uh, i have another map called a debris map so basically it shows uh, a map that uh, there are some uh, debris or some sort of like a uh, stones rocks uh, scattered after the erosion so i'm going to use uh, this map uh, to scatter some uh, yeah some other uh, other texture okay okay uh, now let's try to import that go to the landscape mode again and here i uh, go to the paint section and right now i'm going to use the custom one material layer in open land so you can scroll a little bit down yeah we have this custom one i'm going to select the layer info for that one and then i can go to the manage section now i can see custom one uh, yeah i can check uh, click this checkbox again i'm gonna select the, this debris map and i'm gonna hit import again it will take some time right now what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna go to the select mode save everything and i'm gonna restart my level again and i think this is a bug in ue5 like we don't need to re re restart the map it should work uh, somehow it's not working it's looking good we need a different texture uh, i have downloaded the texture for this one i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna select my material layer the custom one and the texture is this powdered coal and yeah this one i download from mega scans uh, of course you can uh, you can use another one if you like and i can hit select right it, it that nice uh, like a dark color into my uh, scene uh, from the top then i can go to the bottom you can see it at some like a darkish color and also you can see some texture repetition over here and i can increase the rotation influence a little bit and also offset texture version offset a little bit and i can completely get rid of those uh, repetition right you might wonder okay how can i see this uh, texture and uh, yeah from here you can see it's a little bit of dark but if you uh, come closer you cannot clear see that uh, quite often 
in order to see that i'm gonna increase my uh, tiling near tiling a little bit like let's say 40 right so this is what you can see like this huge texture so that's what comes from the uh, from this one and it's quite huge i don't want that and it's nicely blended into my landscape it's not just it's not like a like a, a complete replacement of the texture but it's blended uh, with the existing texture here i'm going to set it for full uh, maybe uh, something like eight right and also yeah i think i'm going to use the far tiling about 60. i think uh, this is it you can easily bring uh, different uh, texture maps plate maps and you can uh, replace them with some sort of textures uh, and, and you can add really nice variations into your scene if i play my game you can clearly see now my landscape looks really nice because it's not uniform and i have more details and yeah it looks very nice all right um this is it for today uh, see you soon with something interesting bye